So Canyon has just released the full 2022 Spectral range, gracing the bike with a host of wheel size options, an adjustment to the front suspension travel and there's now a mullet bike in the range. Hi, I'm Liam from off CC and in this video I'm going to show you my first ride impressions of the brand new Canyon Spectral CF8. So if we start off with what's new for the range, every bike excluding this model comes with a choice of either 650B or 29 inch wheels. Then every bike gets a bump up in front suspension travel up to 160mm travel, whereas last year there were a couple of bikes with 150mm travel, and now there are a few alloy bikes making the Spectral even more accessible than before. So for the mullet bike, Canyon has gone around it a little bit differently and has chosen to create modular front and rear ends on each frame. This means that Canyon has put on the 29 inch front tire angle and then the 650B rear triangle. It must be noted that 650B rear ends aren't available as a standalone purchase. Going to the modular frame direction means that Canyon has been able to keep the geometry exactly the same throughout the range regardless of which wheel size you choose. So while we're on the subject of geometry, it actually hasn't changed in 2022, but that's no bad thing as I was quite the fan of the 2021 bike. So that means that this bike gets a 64.5 degree head tube angle and a 76.5 degree seat tube angle with a 400 system will reach on medium frame. That geometry is flip chippable, so that will slacken the head angle by a half degree as with the seat tube angle. So just like the regular CFA, up front you'll find a Fox 36 Performance Elite with that 160mm travel, but at the back there's a Fox DHX Performance Elite and that is a coil shock. The move to a coil shock is quite an easy one because generally the rear end of a mullet bike is much more lively and much more receptive to square edge hits. So Canyon has made use of a coil shock's known smoothness to calm things down a little bit and make it more composed. So if we move on to the drivetrain, we've got a Shimano XT group set with 12 speed shifting, but that is kitted with an SLX cassette. Then we get a pair of Shimano Dior XT brakes with four pot calipers at both ends. So in keeping with this bike's heavy hitting intentions, it gets kitted with a pair of DT Swiss EX511 rims laced to 370LN hubs. Then they're wrapped with a 2.5 inch Maxxis Asagai at the front with an XO casing. And at the rear, there's a 2.4 inch Maxxis Minion DHR2 with an XO Plus casing. So finishing off with the cockpit, it comes from Canyon's own G5 range with a 780mm bar and a 40 mil stem. What's really cool about the finishing kit is a G5 dropper post. And what makes that really special is that it comes with 25 mil of travel adjustment. And that's done using a very similar method to what we saw on the PNW loan post. It uses a turnable shim inside that allows you to adjust the travel in five mil increments. So Canyon has fitted this to make sizing up a little bit easier. If you find that you've gone for a bigger bike and it's a bit too tall for you, you can just drop the travel of dropper post a little bit and you'll be able to fit on it. So this bike will set you back £4,000. Now, with the spec out of the way, let's get on to some ride impressions. Although this bike is the most different in the range, it still looks and rides like a Spectral. And that's because the geometry hasn't really changed and it still uses the triple phase suspension kinematic. So the changes this bike has received, so that's the cork shock and the mullet setup, have made some small but very pleasant changes to how this bike rides, and generally it's much more capable. And the coil shock has added a further 1.3 kilos to the 13.8 weight that we find on the original CF8. Even though this extra weight is noticeably heavier when you lift up the bike, under pedaling it's not so bad. As before, the Spectral CF8 still pedals really well. But as a result of the coil shock's extra smoothness, it has introduced a little bit more pedal bob and that pedal bob does tend to rob some energy on the climbs. However, this shock is kitted with a lockout, so if you're finding it's robbing too much energy on a particular climb, just lock it out. However, if you were to leave that coil shock wide open, it allows the rear wheel to track the ground incredibly well. That coil shock absorbs tons of trail chatter, and it makes trickier climbs that bit easier thanks to a bump up in grip. Where that new rear end really shines is on the downs, and especially steeper trails as it gives you loads of more room to move over the back of the bike. It also makes the bike more playful and even more playful than it was before. Slapping the rear of the bike into corners was made even easier thanks to that small rear wheel, and there's a noticeable increase in acceleration when you're smashing on the pedals. 
So it's easy to fall into a thought that the coil shock would rob some fun from the 650B rear wheel, and to, to a point that is the case. But in a bike with Canyon's excellent triple phase suspension kinematic, it makes total sense. One criticism I had of last year's bike is that the triple phase suspension kinematic works so well to make the bike super playful. But in chunky sections it can feel a little, little bit unbalanced because the fork is hugging the ground really nicely, whereas the rear end is feeling a little bit chaotic. In practice, the core shock makes for a much more composed bike as it smooths out general trail chassis and makes light work of squarish hits. I reckon that's made the bike feel much more balanced and I've been able to go through really chunky sessions with a lot more speed and a lot more confidence. So to conclude this first ride, the 2022 Canyon Spectral CFA it still looks and rides very much like a Spectral. But the new Burley build and coil shock makes it a much more confident bike to ride through chunkier trails. Then the mullet wheel setup claws back some of the playfulness, acceleration and fun factor that the Spectral is known for. So that is the 2022 Canyon CF8 and if you'd like a more in-depth look at this bike head on over to www.off.roche.cc If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have a Canyon Spectral let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.